Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous class, we discussed about nth term and what is the general form of nth term of an arithmetic progression. So, in this class, we will be discussing about what is the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. Suppose, when you are given some 10 terms or 20 terms or 30 terms, it is not that easier to keep adding all the terms to get sum of some uh, required number of terms. So, definitely we need an explicit formula to find out the sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression. For that, I am going to take the general form of an arithmetic progression. So, what is the concept that we are going to discuss now? We are going to discuss here is sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Okay. Sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression. For that, I am going to take what is the general form of arithmetic progression. Before this, I just want to uh, recall you one very interesting, you know, interesting um, story behind this formula. That interesting story is uh, before 400 years, one mathematics class is going on like this. Before 400 years, one mathematics class was going on like this. So, in that mathematics class, uh, mathematics teacher posed one question to the students. Can anybody tell or find the sum of 1 to 100 natural numbers? How many natural numbers? 1 to 100. Then, every single student, uh, you know, started taking their pens as well as uh, you know a white paper piece of paper and they are trying to solve they are trying to find out what is the sum of 100 numbers how they are writing some of them are writing like 1 to 10 numbers and then 21 to 11 to 20 21 to 30 31 to 40 and so on isn't it and some of them are started counting by fingers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and then going to the leg fingers also but see here uh, most of them are you know taking more time to answer this problem very much time and after you know after one hour or two hours of the time period of time and uh, we are human uh, we are being humans that we definitely do not trust on our answer so definitely we will see the next answer the one who next to you so then we will definitely compare with our answer if our both the answers are matching definitely our answer is right Otherwise, suppose if I uh, we, we both got different answers, then definitely I trust the one who got the answer. See, this is what the human psychology, of course, it is interesting and funny, uh, but here the one very interesting character um, has come into picture. What was that interesting character? The name of the character is Carl Frederick Gauss. Who is that? Carl Frederick Gauss. So, that small boy, uh, he answered the given problem within no time. How he answered the problem within no time? What teacher asked? Teacher asked about the sum of 100 natural numbers, first 100 natural numbers. Then, he answered the problem in such a way that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 on how many natural numbers? 100 natural numbers that is why he has written 98 plus 99 plus 100. Okay. So, he just kept a name for this sum that name is equal to some s yes because he is going to find sum and immediately he wrote the same sequence series of numbers in reverse order. Reverse order means what 100 he wrote first and then 99 and then 98 and then 97 and so on and then 3 plus 2 plus 1 and then he started adding corresponding numbers. Corresponding numbers means s plus s is going to be 2 s, 1 plus 100 101, 2 plus 99 101, 3 plus 98 101 and so on here also you get of course, obviously 101 and here also 101 and here also 101. How many 101s are there? There are totally 100 101s are there. Then he wrote that as 2s is equal to there are 100 101s. You want only s right? 
then 2 ones 2 50 is 50 into 101 is equal to 50 50. Therefore, the sum of first 100 natural numbers equal to 50 50. He easily answered this problem whereas, the others are taking lot of time they are struggling to get the answer. That boy's name is Carl Frederick Gauss. So, later on he contributed to mathematics in several fields of mathematics and he proposed so many interesting theorems also. On his name there is a theorem called Gauss theorem right. These are all very interesting contributions of mathematician later on he was a mathematician right. So, this is one of the interesting uh, you know uh, way of finding sum of first 100 natural numbers. The way that he followed exactly we are going to follow to figure out the sum of first n terms of arithmetic progression. So, what is the sum of first n terms of arithmetic progression that that is what I am going to explain you now. Okay. So, the concept that we are going to discuss is sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression. For that I am going to take what is the general form of arithmetic progression. What is general form of arithmetic progression? A, A plus D, A plus 2 D, A plus 3 D and so on. We need up to n terms right. What is the nth term of arithmetic progression? A plus n minus 1 into D. You understand? A plus n minus 1 into D. So, I am again giving the name of this sum as S the very first term is a plus second term is a plus d and the third term is what is third term a plus 2 d and the fourth term is a plus 3 d and so on how many terms i want i want n terms so what is the nth term nth term is going to be a plus n minus 1 into d that is the nth term so, if this is the nth term, what is the term before nth term? It means n minus 1 the term. Substitute n minus 1 in the place of n. So, n minus 1 minus 1 equal to n minus 2. So, the n minus 1 the term is a plus n minus 2 times d, right. So, plus 1. This is what the sum of first n terms of arithmetic progression. And now, I am going to write this sum in reverse order. You understand? Just before this, we derived, we discussed about the sum of first 100 natural numbers the same way. Again, I am writing the sum in the reverse order. What is the first number there? A plus n minus 1 times d, that is the first number. And what is the second number? A plus n minus 2 times d plus 1 plus last two numbers. What are last two numbers? A plus d and the last number is going to be a. So, when you add the corresponding numbers of these two sequences sorry series s plus s is going to be 2s which is equal to a plus a plus n minus 1 into d you will have to add these two a plus a plus n minus 1 into d there is 1a 1a is equal to 2a since there is no d term in this so that n minus 1 times d. Okay plus second term to second term. See, this is first term to first term and the second term to second term means this is second term to second term and then third term to third term and then last second term to last second term and then last term to last term. This is the way of adding the terms. So, when you add them, see second term to second term, a plus a is going to be 2 a plus this is 1 d, these are n minus 2 d. So, n minus 2 plus of minus 1 or plus 1 only. So, n minus 2 plus 1 is equal to n minus 1. So, that n minus 1 times d. Of course, you get the same numbers, right? We have seen in before example. So, 2 a plus n minus 1 into d, here also 2 a plus n minus 1 into d and so on. Here also the last term is 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. How many 2 a plus n minus 1 into d's are there? Because we are adding n terms, we have n 2 a plus n minus 1 into d's. So, therefore, 2 s is going to be n 2 a plus n minus 1 into d's, right. 
but we want s n only. Therefore, sum of n terms of arithmetic progression is going to be transposed to that side, then it would be n by 2 times 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula for sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression. What is that? S is equal to S means sum of first n terms, you can even write S n also. So, S n is equal to n by 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. This is sum of first n terms of arithmetic progression. Hope you understand and I would write this S n is equal to n by 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d and let us see what are the interesting facts of this S n. Okay? So, I would write S n sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is S n is equal to what is that formula n by 2 times 2 a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? S n is equal to n by 2 times 2 a plus n minus 1 into d is the formula for sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression and then if you once observe clearly, there is a partial uh, portion of this formula is um, I think it is nth term of arithmetic progression. right? If I rewrite this S n is equal to n by 2 times 2 a writing it as a plus a plus remaining term is n minus 1 into d. right? See what is this a plus n minus 1 into d? this a plus n minus 1 into d is nth term of arithmetic progression. Yes, you can write it as n by 2 into a plus this is nth term. So, a n and you can even write this a n as last term of arithmetic progression also. So, that you can even use the indication s n is equal to n by 2 into a plus l where l is equal to nth term which is going to be a plus n minus 1 into d. right? This is about sum to n terms of an arithmetic progression. So, sum to n terms of arithmetic progression is S n is equal to n by 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d or S n is equal to n by 2 into a plus a n or a plus l. So, when do we use this formula? for sum to n terms of arithmetic progression. So, definitely there is a use of this and sum to n terms of arithmetic progression. So, in which cases we use this sum to n terms of arithmetic progression? For example, you are given 50 natural numbers 1 to 50 natural numbers. What is the sum of 1 to 50 natural numbers? Suppose you are asked the question, then how are you going to answer that? First, you will have to check whether that 1 to 50 natural numbers forms an arithmetic progression or not. So, if they can form arithmetic progression, then definitely you can use this formula. For example, sum of first 50 natural numbers, 50 natural numbers means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus 50 is equal to how much. So, in order to find this sum, sum of n terms of this arithmetic progression is called arithmetic series. Series is nothing but sum of terms. So, where first term a is equal to 1 and common difference is equal to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, what is sum of first 50 natural numbers? You can write it as S 50. S 50 means 50 is going to be the value of n. You know what is the last number? Last number is 50. So, that S 50 is equal to how much? when last number means a 50, a 50 is given as 50. So, directly you can use this formula to find out this sum s 50 is equal to what n by 2, n by 2 means 50 divided by 2 into a plus a n, a is equal to first number, n is equal to last number. right? So, which is going to be 50 by 2 is equal to 25 times 50 plus 1 is equal to 51. So, 25 1s are 25, so 5 to 25 5s are 125 plus 2 is equal to 127. So, the sum of first 50 natural numbers is going to be 1 to 7 5. So, this way we can understand what is the formula for sum of n terms of arithmetic progression. Thank you.